Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be starting Christmas in July. That's right. I have got here from, uh, it looks like Sojo Fabric, um, an Etsy shop is where I purchased this quilt kit from. And let me pull out from all of this lovely fabric, I have the pattern. And the pattern that I'm going to be working with here is Reindeer Crossing and it's going to make these really super cute little reindeers and obviously this is a Lila Boutique pattern by Vanessa Gortzen as you guys can see on the cover and um, the finished block is a 16 by 16 and the finished quilt is going to be an 80 and a half by 80 and a half so a pretty decent sized quilt hopefully um, should allow me to move through it relatively quick quickly and I will go through and show you guys some of the beautiful fabric that I have got here for this quilt and um, yeah let's jump into getting this done I think today um, okay so it looks like based on this instruction booklet that we're gonna start out actually making the reindeer pattern first so I am I like to do that. So what we'll do, they do have obviously a whole list of everything to cut for it. So, hmm, I always have a hard time because part of me wants to go through and look at the step that I'm doing and cut that fabric and have that rather than having just like a whole heap of fabric sitting over there that you know, it's taking up space. And I guess if you had a design board, you know, people like those design boards, you could put them all together on that. But I don't really have that. So I end up just sitting it right there and everything just is stacked there and laid out. And I have a little bit of anxiety that little fingers are gonna come in and mess with all of the blocks and then I'm gonna have no idea what, what anything is. So I always like, kind of don't want to cut all of the fabric up but at the same time when doing these types of patterns I think it really makes it just go faster when you're sewing because you can chain piece everything and just look at it and go yep this is what I need and go forth through it there so I'll have a think about that of which way I'm gonna do but I know I have to no matter what I do I've got to iron all of this so I am gonna get to ironing and I'll be thinking about what I want to do from there. So, um, I'm just cutting this fabric according to the directions for, uh, and what's really nice is I was worried about cutting all of the fabric, but they actually start and do give a list for everything that you need for doing the, the reindeers. So I'm cutting all of the background fabric that I need for the reindeers, but how, do you guys do this as well? So it's a lovely cutting list. And basically they tell you everything you need uh, strip-wise to cut. But as you're doing it, have you noticed that you have leftover, right? So um, this bit, this bit right here was leftover. You know, that's a lot of fabric I find to leave over. So what I do is I usually go through and look for the next size down that I can then cut from this. Um, which I don't know, maybe that takes longer because I do that. But I don't know, do you guys do that? Or do you just cut all of the strips, subcut all of that, and then just whatever is left over goes into your scrap pile? Maybe that's faster to do it that way. But I have a hard time of wasting that. And personally, I really like, I really like it when my scraps are all combined into one large piece. So if I can keep them, in a bigger pile, 
rather than having to cut them all down. I like that, you know, I think I have more options, I guess, whenever my fabric is in a big piece rather than having a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. Um, but, you know, you have to, either way, you have to use the scraps. So this is why I do that. So I got all of the fabric that I needed for this particular size from cutting down my leftovers. So now I don't even have to cut that strip, which I, I think that saves time, I think. And also it's not as wasteful, you know, and whenever I end up, if I have this big piece of fabric left, why not use it? I don't know. So what do you guys do? Do you just cut all the strips? Let me know. Okay, so we have got all of the fabric cut and I'm now ready to start putting these blocks together. There are 13 reindeer in this quilt and I'm gonna go ahead and do all 13 at the same time. And the reason for that is I want them to be symmetrical. One thing I learned from the Elizabeth Hartman quilt when I only did one armadillo and then went back and did the other ones is that it just wasn't the same. Now, some of that may have been, I kind of knew what I was doing the second or third time around, but I also think it just had to do with how you're piecing at that time. And so if you're piecing all of your blocks at once, they're all gonna be really similar and you're not gonna have that vast, you know, change in size. And so because all of this, the main focus is basically all those reindeer and then I have the background blocks that I still have to cut and do, but I want them to be as close as possible. So I'm gonna do all of the reindeer and then I'm gonna move on and do all of the little background sub squares that we've got to do. So let's jump into doing that. Okay, so here I thought I was doing great, sewing along, making progress, and I was creating these, and, and basically these are gonna eventually become the ears of the reindeer. And as I went through and completed all, that's right, I did all of them, except that they aren't all one-sided ears. So I've messed up and I'm going to have to go through and I can't unpick it because I've, I've sewed and I've cut these. So these are basically now just scrap, do whatever I want to do with them. And I'm going to go back through, cut some more of this fabric and go back and sew it so that they, they alternate. And when I read the directions, I understood it said to alternate them, but I thought they meant alternating this. I didn't really look closely at the picture. So Again, you know, I guess the, the big thing that I would say when doing these types of, of quilts that are a little bit more intricate or a little bit more pieced where they're, you're making, you know, animals and, and stuff like Elizabeth Hartman, you know, I feel like a, a very Elizabeth Hartman type quilt, um, you just really need to pay attention. And I really did. I was just, you know, okay, I've got to get, I've got to get this done. I've got to work on it. So I'm probably going to stop for tonight and have a, a regroup session. I still have lots of round fabric that I can cut these pieces where I've messed up. 
So I've still got plenty of fabric. It's not a worry in cutting it, but it is just an extra step. And I was hoping to at least have completed one part of this quilt, and um, which I have. I have completed cutting all of the fabric until now for, for the reindeers. And I have completed half, well, kind of completed half of the ears. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here and uh, and regroup and next time I see you we'll have some ears completed and we'll work towards the next part of this quilt. So as always, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. The name of this new quilt that I am working on is Reindeer Crossing. It's a Lila Boutique and it is a Moda uh, fabric patterns that we've got here. So I hope to see you guys here next time. And as always, have a wonderful day.